Okay, I think perhaps we already get started because otherwise we are getting late. And uh, there will be, after our session, there will be again something in the, uh, in the plen plenary hall and for that reason I think we just get started. So uh, in this session we uh, will talk about understanding and conquering uh, barriers in cancer nanomedicine. And uh, I'm happy to introduce the first uh, speaker, which is Gilad Bachach. And uh, he will talk about homing of uh, Fusobacterium nucleatum to colon cancer. And I would make you aware that he's actually coming from an institute of dental science. So that's translation. Thank you very much. OK, thank you very much. And thank you for the invitation. So if you don't know what Fusobacterium nucleatum is, feel okay because hardly anyone knows what Fusobacterium nucleatum is. So Fuso is an oral bacteria. We have about 700 different species of oral bacteria in our mouth. And in a normal person, we have between 100 and 200 of these species. Fusobacterium nucleatum is anaerobic, which means it's not easy to work with. It's a gram-negative rod, a non motile and non-sporulating. In about four years ago, suddenly deep sequencing analysis um, discovered that Fusobacterium nucleatum, at least DNA, accumulates in colon cancer. And we were working on Fusobacterium nucleatum, and we had the tools to investigate where does it come from, how does it get to the colon cancer, and why does it get to the colon cancer. So the first question, what is the source of Fusobacterium nucleatum in, in colon cancer, CRC? So of course we thought it comes from the mouth, but you have to uh, prove that it comes from the mouth. So we hooked up with the uh, clinicians, and we isolated, we tried to isolate Fusobacterium from the mouth and from the colon cancer of the same patient. And then to extract the DNA and to see if it's exactly the same DNA. I'm talking about full genomic uh, DNA sequence. In the first seven patients, we found we, it was easy to uh, isolate Fusobacterium from their mouth. Uh, but from the colon cancer, we, with PCR, we knew that they have all Fusobacterium nucleatum in the cancer, but we were able to isolate uh, the bug only from one patient. We were lucky because it was a 92-year-old patient, and he had one tooth left. So without that tooth, we wouldn't be able to. When we sequenced the, the DNA, we saw that it's the same DNA. I mean, the, the, the DNA of the oral isolate and the colon the cancer isolate, there were only 12 uh, nucleotide differences. And if we look at the closest Fusobacterium nucleatum genomes that you find in, this, in the net, it's 9,734 uh, nucleotide differences. So we were quite happy that the, the Fusobacterium from the colon cancer comes from the oral cavity, from the mouth. And we did it with two more isolates, so now we're quite sure about that. How does it get from the mouth to colon cancer? So there's two. Uh, different tracks that it, it can go. The first one is the digestive. You just swallow it and it comes to the colon cancer, but then it has to pass through the stomach. The second option is through the blood. So this is the tooth, and this is the oral biofilm and the dental plaque, and when you have gum disease, this is my tooth when I was a, a bad boy and didn't clean it. So when you have um, gum disease or periodontitis, then you have bleeding, and when you have bleeding, the bacteria go into the blood in transient bacteremia. So this is also an option through the blood system. So we used the uh, uh, colon cancer model in mice to check both options. And we inoculated the mouse both by oral gavage or by intravascular uh, inoculation through the blood system. And, and the results were really um, clear that the fusobacteria gets from the blood to the uh, colon cancer. Okay, So not through the, the digestive tract, but through the blood. This is by uh, PCR. Now what you see, if you inject Fusobacterium nucleatum to the blood of an animal without colon cancer, you can't find it at the colon at all. You need the colon cancer there. If you inject it to, uh, uh, to the blood of a, of a mouse with colon cancer, you found them in the colon cancer about 20 minutes after injection and they start to proliferate. And if you check in the proximal, in the adjacent normal colon, you don't see the, the bacteria, or very, uh, very little. So it's really specifically to the colon cancer. 
This is specific because if you try control bacteria, even very similar oral bacteria, they don't reach colon cancer. So this is something specific for Fusobacterium nucleatum. As a, 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 a microbial ecologist, I like the fact that Fusobacterium arrives to the colon cancer uh, through the blood system. It, it's logical for me. Why is that? Because if it had to come through the digestive tract, it has to pass all the gut barrier, all the defenses of the colon, and plus to compete with the normal bacteria that is already there. This way it comes from the blood system and it actually sneaks up from behind and doesn't have to go through all these uh, uh, mechanisms of defense. <clears throat> How does Fusobacteria, why does Fusobacteria come from the oral cavity, from the mouth to colon cancer? So we looked at the literature, the old literature, and we saw that uh, Gal galnac, a specific uh, sugar, galnac uh, galactose moiety, is overexpressed in colon cancer, overrepresented uh, in colon cancer. Now, everyone that w w works with Fusobacterium nucleatum knows that Fusobacterium attaches to gal galnac in many different bacteria in the oral cavity. And people assumed that it has a galnac lectin, but no one knew what it is. So before we went to find the gal galnac, we wanted to make sure that gal galnac is really overexpressed or overrepresented in, in colon cancer. So this is the colon cancer of one of our patients. This is the normal healthy tissue. This is the border, and this is the, uh, uh, the cancer. And we stain gal galnac with uh, green fluorescence, and you can see that gal galnac is really overrepresented in colon cancer, and you can see it here as well. So gal galnac is overrepresented in colon cancer. When we label the bacteria, and again, ex vivo, see where they bind in the colon cancer, we saw that there is colloquialization of Fusobacterium nucleatum <coughs> and the galnac that is stained here in red. So we know that Fusobacteria bind to gal galnac that is overexpressed in colon cancer. How does it bind this uh, gal galnac? So we have to find the gal galnac uh, lectin, and this was actually our strong part to do genetic engineering in Fusobacterium nucleatum. So we made a transposome with the system in Fusobacterium nucleatum. Transposome are genetic elements that you can insert them randomly in genomes of bacteria and make a mutation library. Now you look for a mutant that, is, that lost the ability to bind gal galnac. And this is what we did. And we isolated three mutants, and they were all mutated in a gene called FAP2. So we decided that FAP2 is the Fusobacterial galactose or gal galnac binding lectin. Does FAP2 mediate the binding of Fusobacteria to colon cancer? Yes, it does. Because when we compared uh, normal Fusobacteria that express FAP2 and uh, stain them in red to Fusobacterium that are lacking uh, gal gal, uh, that are lacking, uh, that are mutated in FAP2, we saw that the FAP2 mutants are impaired in, in attachment to human CRC. We used tissue microarrays, and we used a lot of uh, 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 human samples, and we used two different mutations, two different mutants, and, and the results was clear. So Fusobacteria uh, attaches to gal galnac, which is overexpressed in colon cancer, using the FAP2 lectin. When we compared colonization in a mouse model of normal Fusobacteria that express FAP2, to uh, Fusobacteria that are deficient in FAP2, there was a, 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 a hundredfold difference, and we saw that the FAP2 mutants are impaired in colonizing CRC. So, to sum up this, Fusobacteria, oh, before we sum up. So, <coughs> when we think of how Fusobacteria colonize colon cancer, so we have specific and non specific mechanism. First of all, it's a non motile bacteria but it's in the bloodstream, and um, tumor um, attracts more blood vessels. So it's easier for the bacteria to get because there's more blood in the tumor. Then you have uh, permeability because of the cancer, which also helps the bacteria to get to the cancer. Then you have a local uh, immunosuppressant that helps the bacteria proliferate them. And because the, the tumor is all the time using a lot of oxygen, then you have an anoxic, uh, epoxic region, which is very good for uh, anaerobic bacteria. But these are all non-specific mechanisms that can get any bacteria or any liposome to the cancer. The specific of Fusobacteria uh, 
homing to, fuso, to colon cancer is because of the gal galnac that is overexpressed in uh, colon cancer bound by the fusobacterial FAP2. So we have oral fusobacteria that go through the bloodstream and bind to colon cancer through the uh, overexpressed gal galnac, which is bound by, by the fusobacteria FAP2 uh, protein. The last question was, once fusobacteria reaches and colonizes uh, colon cancer, what does it do there? So this was a long story that was done in collaboration with an uh, immunology group, and I will just give you the highlight because it was very long. What happens is that once fusobacteria sits on the tumor, it protects the tumor from, immune, uh, from killing by immune cells, by, by NK cells, and by uh, infil uh, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. And that's because Fusobacterium nucleatum, again, using the FAP2, but a different uh, moiety of it, not the gal gal binding one, activates a suppressor uh, receptor on NK cells and, and, and T cells, which is called TGIT, and by this specific activation, uh, inhibits killing of the tumor and enables the tumor to grow. This is published, you can see. Here you can see a representation, this uh, in EM, you can see this is the tumor cell, these are the fusobacteria that are attached to it, these are the NK cells that are coming to kill the tumor, but they can't because the fusobacterium signals them don't kill. <coughs> what is the translation? What is the take-home method from this uh, uh, work? So, we have a fusobacterium that gets to ca colon cancer and protects it from killing by uh, immune cells. Should we treat colon cancer with antibiotic? It's definitely worth thinking. Maybe, maybe it could be def def uh, beneficial. Should we try to block the binding of FAP2 and TGIT uh, and binding of FAP2 and gal gal with uh, uh, specific antibodies? Def uh, definitely. Should we try to uh, block TGIT? Uh, the um, immune suppressor receptor, definitely, and, and many companies are trying to do it, as one is a, a, of a checkpoint uh, inhibitor. But more relevant to this talk, I think, we have a specific bacteria that home in specifically and multiplies in cancer. Can we somehow arm it to get to the cancer and kill it? Can we do something, and, and, and I did mention, but it also reaches cancer, uh, colon cancer metastasis. Can we use uh, micromedicines, and would you, expect, uh, would you accept the micromedicine people in the nanomedicine uh, journal, uh, clubs? So uh, this is uh, my question, and uh, most of the work was done by Jawad Abed and uh, Johanna, uh, Johanna Emgrad, and uh, all of the immunology was done in Ofer Bendelbaum's lab, of course, we had a lot of uh, help from a lot of physicians and, and surgeons, and uh, I help you. I thank you all as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we have time for one question. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.